back with Pete Harold this morning from Rumble Resources. Pete, morning. Morning, Andrew. Good to see you, Pete. A drilling update out from you today on the Western Queen Gold Project. You say you've identified this new mineralised load uh, within the system. Just tell us a bit more. Yeah, look, I mean, what, what we think we've got here is a number of parallel systems or loads, if you like, and this drilling has confirmed that there's at least another one, potentially two, and that also one of the existing loads extends as well. So this is, you know, this is part of what we were trying to achieve. So with a very limited the budget to start off with we've drilled um three of four holes the fourth hole is going in at the moment and yeah so a positive results um some high grade uh, zone in interdispersed with a 29 meters of nearly two grams but there's some high grade within that and five at five in the other hole so that that's really good results we're very pleased so you're, you're planning some further drilling here to test the position Obviously. Yeah, we will. We'll 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 finish this last hole, um, which is currently being drilled now. It'll probably take another few days, uh, and once we get the results from that, we can step, sit back and have a look. And then, yeah, definitely uh, another program will be planned and get underway. You know, look, I don't know when, but it'll probably be you know um, sometime in August, I would imagine. Just remind us, Pete, there are some similarities from a geological perspective here with uh, or for Western Queen with Spartans Never Never Load. There are indeed, and gosh, wouldn't it be great if we had another one of those? I mean, that's nearly a million ounces at, at five and a half grams. I mean, yep, I'm, as you know, I'm not a geologist. I'm a chemical engineer, so I know enough to be dangerous. But I think by all accounts, you know, we're, we're, it's a very good analogy. The, the, the uh, geologists are happy with the, you know, the, and it's always good to have an analogy. So we, we think that we're onto something similar. And, you know, the, uh, the rotary truth machine, the drill is what will uh, help us to confirm that. And so sitting on, on granted mining leases, yes. you've, got, you've got three processing mills nearby, so you've got yep. options. Here. Yeah, we do. I mean, Dalgaranga is only 40 k's away. Uh, that's the Spartan project. I mean, obviously on care and maintenance, but looking to get going again. Old colleague of mine, Craig Jones, is in there getting, getting that going. So it's good to see Craig being active in the space. And I'm sure we'll have some good conversations with him going forward. There's also the Checkers Mill and Tuckabiana Mill within 100 k's. So... We're, we're spoiled for choice there. And, um, you know, I was, I was up there recently and the whole, the, the roads around there are all designed to haul on and, you know, 120 tonne road trains running around everywhere. There's a lot of dirt moving around. So it's, it's yeah, it's a, it, we wouldn't have to build a mill. Um, previously, this was mined by um, Romelius back in the day. Um, there's been over 200,000 ounces at, at over five grams has been mined from uh, the Western Queen uh, project. So it's got a good history and hopefully we can repeat that going forward. And Pete, just while I've got you, as far as uh, Erahidi, how is yeah. the, the test work going there? Yeah, I, I nearly finished. Um, it's been a long process. Um, you know, it, it, it's slow getting these uh, all these programs done, a lot of work. But we, we'll, we'll be pretty much finished that by the end of the month and we can write it up and put the results out in August. But, but pleased with the progress there. And Pete, just finally, look, I know you've got a taxi waiting outside. You're uh, en route <laughs> to the airport, Octanusa. Uh, yes. You're presenting tomorrow. Are you? Yes, I look um, the the Noosa Resources Conference. I think is one of the best conferences uh, uh, that that Australia hosts. I mean, it is a lot of investors in the room, a lot of high net worths, and and we've always and every, any company I've ever been to, we've all had, always had a good response when we've presented there. So yeah, I'm presenting there tomorrow at four o'clock. Presentation will be out on the um, uh, on the wires tomorrow on ASX, and then obviously um, people can. I think you can actually uh, hook in and listen to it online. So definitely worthwhile. There's a lot of good companies presented and presenting there and it's always a good conference and nice part of the world too. Mm, certainly is. Uh, good to see you Pete. Thanks for your time. Thanks a lot Andrew.